के अव्यक्ति परिवार में आपका स्वागत है आज है दिन पंद्रह जीवन मुक्त स्थिति का अनुभव करने के लिए बंधनों से मुक्त बनो आज का टॉपिक है मैं और मेरे पन से मुक्त अव्यक्ति शारे मैं और मेरा पन ही फर्शवासी बनाता है Om Shanti. Today's topic is free from I and mine. I and mine make you into residents of the earth. To become an angel means to become free from the bondage of I and mine. If this alokic life, I and mine, is a golden chain, I am a very good jnani. I am a jnani soul. I am a yogi soul. This is my speciality. This is my nature. So now become free from the I and mine. And now we will be listening to Didi. Om Shanti. In our life, there will be a time when maybe we will not be able to serve in both ways. Uh, maybe the natural calamities will be there or the atmosphere will be more violent of violence. So at that time, we just have to do the service through mind which we call the service of an angel. So that is why Baba is saying that, are you just going to stay like the residents of earth or are you going to become detached from that? So this is very subtle effort, very subtle effort. Uh, residents of earth means being body conscious because this is very subtle bondage and that bondage is of I and mine. Uh, now we should not even say that this is my body. Because body also needs Sakash from Baba, light and might from Baba. So for that, as much as we can check ourselves that there should be nothing of I and mine. Maybe not impure, but sometimes pure. I and mine is there. So that is why Baba is saying, I and mine makes you the residents of earth. But we have to become an angel, not the residents of earth. We are becoming angels. So don't think like, if we think like, oh, we are very old in knowledge, we are seniors. So they have their own uh, inculcations, but as the time is, as the study is, as Baba is sustaining us, so all of us are same. We all have to practice same. Some says, oh, for you, it's easy because you have been in knowledge for so many years. But we all are studying the same, same study, Murli is same for us. Whatever Baba is teaching us is same. So that is why don't just think that and become careless. No, just pay attention to your efforts that if I have to become an angel, meaning I have to remove this bondage of I and mine. Because I and mine is, is a golden chain. It's not even of iron, not of copper. It's golden. It's golden chain. And what is that? That I feel, oh, I am a knowledgeful soul. I'm a jnani soul. 
we all are gyani souls but in the heart uh, some feel oh i have more knowledge uh, i am a yogi soul oh i have a very uh, good connection with baba so so this this any time you can have those storms of maya so just take help from baba just stay in under the canopy of baba receive powers from baba so then there will be no i and mine if we feel oh this is my speciality or i say oh this is my nature so in that just become free from i and mine so this is very subtle every day we feel that everything is becoming so subtle so baba has given us aim and bab brahma baba is uh, in front of us as an example so sometimes what happen like uh very naturally we lose control on the self just feel that i am baba's whatever i am today i'm because of baba this is not my speciality because maybe at some time maybe i'll not be able to even use my speciality but if i think that this is baba and baba has made me special for seva then almighty father just keep baba in your intellect all the time then uh, just remove i and mine become free from from that this is very subtle very subtle but very important not not i it's baba don't say i it's baba so then what will you feel like constant help from baba constant protection from baba constant sustenance from baba you will receive that constant flow from baba so make this vow at this time that i have to become an angel make this promise with baba om shanti om shanti now we'll revise avyak nurli ओम शांति अवेक शांति सो डेट ऑफ द मुरली इज मे थर्ड 1972 सटल पनिशमेंट्स विल बी गिवन सटली एंड डे बाय डे देयर विल बी ग्रेटर पनिशमेंट हाउएवर according to the godly codes of conduct if someone does something that is not within the code of conduct if someone disobeys the code of conduct then such a soul also has to suffer physical punishment what will happen then you are deprived of the love and relationship of the divine family as well as the treasure of wealth of the present time therefore now take your steps with a great deal of careful thought and consideration such disciplines are being established by the shaktis you have to be warned in advance don't you then you don't say that you don't think it 
would be um, this is something new. So therefore, you are being told in advance together with gross disciplines. There are also subtle discipline. As is the mistake, so is the punishment for those who make such mistakes. Therefore, since you are lawmakers, don't break the law. If the lawmakers break the laws, how will you claim the right to lawful kingdom? So if you cannot conduct yourself according to the law, how can you rule a lawful kingdom? Therefore, now consider yourself to be a lawmaker and be lawful at every step. That is, take every step according to Srimad. Don't mix the dictates of your own mind. Maya changes Srimad into Manmad and gives you the intellect to consider that to be Srimad. Then, under the influence of Maya, you start considering Srimad to be Manmad. Therefore, you must constantly use the power of discrimination. Sometimes there is a difference in being able to discriminate and so you bring loss to yourself. Therefore, if you are not able to discriminate in any situation, take cooperation from the elevated souls who are the instruments. Verify with them whether something is Srimad or Manmad. Then put it into practical form. Acha, to those who move along whilst being both loveful and lawful to such souls. Namaste. Om Shanti.